My name is Walker Sheik, agronomist with Millborn Seeds, and today I'm going to talk about weed control and pastures. So the first thing when we think about weeds in pastures, we're usually talking about perennials or biannuals. Um, a lot of times we're used to the to annual species that we see in our row crops, but species such as Canada thistle, leafy spurge, some other thistle species are all perennial and biannual species, and it's important to know that because they need to be managed a little different. Now, when guys think of some chemicals to spray on their pastures, they usually think of just 2,4-D or a dicamba or, or some form of the two, um, which are good, good options to use, especially on our annual broadleaf weeds. But when we're talking about Canada thistle, leafy spurge, or other perennial and biannual weeds, it's important we look at some of our more slow-moving um, or more effective chemicals to use, such as milestone, cordon, and so forth. And so the, a good time to spray those type of chemicals would be in the late fall, early summer time frame. So you're probably looking at late August, early September in the, in the Dakotas. Um, and the reason we want to spray it during that time, a couple weeks before the first frost, is because we want to allow the plant to still have time and still be actively growing to bring in the nutrients and the energy in, down into this root system into the rhizomes as well. And when, we, when that plant is moving those nutrients and moving that energy down there and we put a chemical on there such as a milestone or a tordon during that time, we're allowing that plant to still have time to move that chemical down into the root system and not only kill the plant that's above the ground that you see in the fall, but also kill the root system to prevent any new growth the following spring, as well as provide good residual control for any new seeds that maybe were spread across the ground that fall as well. Um, now, if we're if we're in the early spring or early summer time frame, and we have some weeds, we have some time to go out there and maybe spray. Then a 2,4-D or dicamba, or a version of a mixture of some some milestone toward on 2,4-D or so forth, are good options as well. Usually, there's not enough underground growth threat growth yet in those perennial species to where a 2,4-D will provide good, quick, fast control, and that'll be good. I know a lot of guys have questions to where if they have clover in their field or some type of broadleaf that adds forage value to their pasture and they want to spray the weeds but they don't want to kill their clovers. Um, a product called MCPA or MCPE is a good product that will be easy and it is actually labeled for clovers. Um, it may not have the best control on the weeds you're trying to kill but repetitive applications um, should provide good enough control of those weeds while still maintaining good growth of your clovers in your pasture. Now besides just chemical control to control weeds in your pastures, having a healthier pasture will increase its competitiveness against its weeds. Having healthier grasses, healthier forages, um, maintaining good nutrient levels within your soil and not overgrazing the pastures are all things that have increased the competitiveness of your forage species and of your grass species against the unwanted weed species that you'd otherwise see and hopefully avoid any chemical control needed. Again, my name is Walker Sheik, agronomist with Millborn Seeds and thanks for watching.